So I am here in Wisconsin and today I basically all I wanted to do was do a little test drive with the GoPro Hero 13. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a flight. I'm going to talk you through my flight as I'm going through it and then I'm going to get back to my computer stabilize the footage uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit down and talk about what I think and how it looks. So without further ado, let's get the drone in the air and let's start the flight. So I'm actually going to go and stand out here for the flight. So hopefully I don't fall in the water or something stupid. So let's do it. Oh damn, this water is clear. That's kind of crazy. Super sick, honestly. Okay. Oh, this is what I wanted, dude. This is what I wanted. This is what I've been looking for. Just a nice beach that I can just rip around on, honestly. Yes. Yes, dude. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Came to Wisconsin and this is what I wanted. Right here. Oh boy. Yeah, we're just gonna chase this line. Chase the ocean. I know we got some trees coming up here. Oh, that's just a dead log. Okay, that's sick. It's probably better if I turn a little bit. So I gotta turn this way, I believe. These are the fall colors that I wanted. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna go out a little bit even though I fucking hate that. Hate it. But we're gonna do it. And then we're gonna come in. Kinda close. And then basically, should just be able to fly by. So we kinda ripping through. And then we can rip down past here. Get kinda close to the water. Oh geez. <laughs> scared me a little bit. And then rip past the dead branch. All that. Uh, it's pretty nice. We got some nice colors here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chase the coastline, but we're gonna do it up in the trees. I'm the king of the trees, I'm the tree meister. We can go down, nice. Come down here in the shade. And then we can maybe pop back out. As we pop back out, we can fly by me. And then we can just get a nice big view of the lake. 
Beautiful. Right now we can come down through here. Whoosh. Come through here. What's so nice about these 8,000 milliamp batteries is I still have so much flight time left. Whoosh, fly there. I'm just in the zone. Just so in the zone. Super sick. I try and find some a little bit more color in the trees. We can do some close swoops too. I know that I can make it all the way over there, but I don't necessarily want to uh, with only three volts left. So we're gonna start heading back. We see the yellow, so we're gonna start heading back. And all we're gonna do is sell those orange trees on the way over. Just make sure we see them. Got a seagull flying through. And then we're just gonna rip it straight out to the beach. And the water, get some waves crashing. They're little baby waves, but they're still cool. And then we got our dead tree buddy here. Fly by that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it in just so we can bring it out kind of wide with me here. Bring it out wide. And then we'll do that same shot again. Bring it up. And down. Zoom. Do a little bit of orbiting. And back over. So our voltage is getting pretty low. So it's a pretty good time to bring it back. So now I'm basically just gonna slow down a little bit and kind of try and get it back over to this rock so I can land it. I don't want to land on the sand because I've done that before. And I still have sand in my propellers. So I certainly don't want to do that. So maybe over by my backpack is a good spot, blowing up some, some stuff, but maybe like, maybe like right there. It's pretty good. We'll call that good. So basically, now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back to the office and we're just gonna review the footage. So I'll see you over there, let's check it out. So as I'm watching the footage back, one thing just keeps coming to mind and it's how similar it looks to the Hero 12. And honestly, how it is basically the exact same. The differences between those two cameras is honestly very little. There's some software updates that I think make the 13 a little better at times when it comes to mounting and ND filters and a few other things. But as far as quality goes, as far as frame rates go, we're looking at the exact same camera. Now I am currently working on a review where I compare the 11, 12, and 13 all in one kind of giant big video. And that should be released next week. So while I'm working on that, I was able to get out and fly the exact same path with the 12 and 13. And so I kind of want to just show you this side by side and I'm not going to do any editing or any color grading or anything like that. It's just going to be exactly what I shot. Um, and I use the exact same settings on both cameras. So as we watch these, the biggest thing I think you'll find is it's honestly impossible to tell which one is which, but I'm going to go ahead and reveal it. So could you tell that that was uh, the brand new GoPro camera? because I couldn't, I really couldn't tell that there was a difference. Anyways, I'm gonna get way more into this in my next video, uh, so be on the lookout for that next Saturday. At least I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, kind of the flight, cause I, I did have a lot of fun out there in Wisconsin. Anyways, I'm just gonna end the video there, but again, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week, later.